This video is sponsored by Let's Get Checked, the fastest and easiest way to check your hormones right at home. What is up guys and welcome back to a brand new video. Today, we're gonna be talking about the pros and cons of going the prescription route when it comes to your TRT and the pros and cons of the underground route when it comes to your TRT. I've done both ways myself and through a TRT clinic and I'm actually currently doing it myself and I'll tell you why later on. Before we get into the video, if you're looking for the absolute highest and best quality of liquid SARMs and peptides, be sure to click the second link down in the description box below and head on over to my good friends at beyond-research.com where you can purchase liquid SARMs and peptides. Be sure to use my code ANK10 for 10% off and if you buy two or more liquid SARMs, you automatically get $5 off and you can stack that deal with my code. If you're looking for SARM capsules, you do still have to call Beyond Max. Information right there on the screen. Just give them a call, they take your order right over the phone. And if you order before 3 p.m. Eastern time, it ships out the exact same day. When you support Beyond Research or Beyond Max, you are supporting this channel and I absolutely appreciate it. Any questions about Beyond Max or Beyond Research, just shoot me an email, anchorumfitness at gmail.com and I will answer any and all of your questions. All right, so let's start with the prescription route. We'll start with the dessert first, the pros. The first and in my opinion, the absolute biggest pro to go the prescription route is quality. You are not getting your testosterone from some random guy who bakes this shit up in his kitchen and filters it through cheesecloth. You are getting this stuff directly from the pharmacy. If you are prescribed 150 milligrams per week of testosterone recipient, you can rest assured that that is exactly what you are getting from the pharmacy. No question about it, no dirty gear, no bullshit, just pure bliss in a bottle. The second pro is going to be professional guidance. Not a lot of guys really know their bodies well enough and can read their blood work to where they can remedy issues and hone in on any problems and the dosage of the test and the AIs. When you have a licensed healthcare professional that knows what they are doing, that can see and read any issues, but also, and this is huge, prescribe you anything you need, specifically aromatase inhibitors, that is worth its weight in gold. The third pro is going to be legality. For those of you that are worried about the legality part of buying and storing gear, a prescription will rest your pretty little head. The biggest thing here, um, at least for me, is traveling. It is a pain to travel with this shit if you do not have a prescription. Um, you know, if you have a prescription, you toss it right in your luggage, as long as it has your name on it, then you are good to go. Maybe just don't carry it on with your needles and all that. Check your bags, send it to the bottom of the plane, and you will be just fine. The last one is gonna go both ways, and I'll explain here what I'm talking about, price. This can be a pro if you have insurance that covers it. So if your insurance is baller, you could get your stuff pretty cheap or at no cost, along with your blood work and your doctor visits. Most of you guys know the symptoms of low testosterone. If your hormone levels are out of whack or declining, you will struggle to put on lean muscle, burn fat, and really just operate from day to day. So if you haven't had a comprehensive test of your male hormones lately, or maybe you never have, then I wanna tell you about the sponsor of today's video, Let's Get Checked. If you are looking for an easy and cost-effective way to check your testosterone, your SSGB, your estrogen, and other important male hormone levels, then my good friends over at Let's Get Checked can help. They're a worldwide leader and at-home testing kits, and they let you easily check your testosterone right from the comfort of your own home. All you have to do is click the very first link in the description box below, choose your test, collect your sample, and return it using the shipping label provided, and your results will be available within two to five days. A nurse will then contact you once the physician has reviewed them, and they will set up a phone consultation to answer any and all of your questions. It's never been this simple to get your hormones checked. Get tested at home. Use my special code ANKRUM25 for 25% off test of your choice. Thank you to Let's Get Checked for sponsoring this video. Full transparency guys, if you use my code, I get paid. What are the bad things about going the prescription route? The number one biggest con, which is ironically the last pro, is price. If your insurance doesn't cover this for whatever reason, and a lot don't, um, this can be very expensive 
for essentially what you are getting. I actually have really good insurance and mine didn't cover it. I'm pretty sure because of my age, I think I was like 27 at the time. Um, but my insurance didn't cover any of it. Not my blood work, not any of my gear, nothing. So I paid out of pocket for everything. And I should clarify, um, it is expensive compared to like the street cost of this stuff. A good price range for out of pocket TRT clinics will be anywhere from 175 a month and up. That is for everything you need. Typically this stuff uh, comes all to your front door, especially anymore there are TRT clinics on every corner. They come right to you. That's your test, that's your AIs, that's your needles. Um, that's your alcohol swabs. Literally everything you need comes right to you at your front door for most places. And that uh, fee covers all of that. Shipping, everything. 175 and up is pretty expensive since you are typically only getting anywhere from 100 to 150 milligrams per week of testosterone. And if you take more to try to bump your levels and skew the data, you will run out and Essentially, all of these places will not refresh your prescription until you are due for a refresh. Now, I personally do 150 milligrams per week of testosterone. I buy my stuff online and it equals out to be about 40 to $50 per month all in. That's everything. That's my gear. That's my AI, needles, swabs, everything. Uh, 40, 50 bucks is a good kind of estimate. Now, the second con is also gonna be kind of like one of the pros. You can get bad advice from doctors. Not all, but a lot of doctors, specifically uh, general practitioners, your family doctors, just really give out some of the dumbest protocols and then they will actually drop you if you don't follow it or if you tell them that you're not following it. Here's an example. I've heard about a lot of doctors giving out a once a month protocol. That's in you take one shot per month and then you don't take one for another four weeks. That is a horrible protocol. Your levels are gonna spike for a week and then for the next three weeks, you're just gonna be in the shitter and you're constantly gonna be riding this weird roller coaster. If you are injecting, you should be injecting at least once a week. I inject twice a week just to keep my blood levels super steady. And if you are going sub Q, which a lot of guys do nowadays, you are injecting three times a week and it's an even easier shot. I just don't mind doing intramuscular. Some guys don't, so they just poke it in the fat. Either way, it's very easy. Like I already said, there are TRT clinics on every corner. If you find one that's making you do some goofy shit, just go find another one. They are everywhere. You can do them online. You can do them in person. Literally just Google TRT clinics near me and they are everywhere. The third con is going to be the pain of hiding your additional recreational activities. If you just want to do TRT and that is it, then this doesn't matter to you. But if you're wanting to blast and cruise, then you're going to have to time your cycles around your appointments so your blood work doesn't come back all funky. Most doctors will drop you if you show up with a big old total T-score of 4,000. They will not like that. So you gotta play that game where you blast in between your appointments and you come off a month before, hopefully your shit dies back down and you just gotta keep on doing that. It's kind of a pain. I know a lot of guys that do it, but if you're gonna go the professional route, that is one thing you have to look after if you're wanting to blast. And again, there are some other smaller cons like what TRT they force you to do or want you to do, rather it's the androgel, which I hate, the deodorant that I hate, um, you know, there's pellets now, and then you have good old fashioned, you know, testosterone replacement therapy where you inject once a week, like I do, well, twice a week. But we hit the meat and potatoes, the pros and cons of going the prescription route. Next on deck is the pros and cons of the underground route, the illegal route. The first and biggest pro is going to be the ability to acquire it without having to go to the doctor. I mean, duh. Not all of us qualify for TRT, or at least our doctors don't think we do. Your neighborhood dealer really doesn't care too much about your T-score. He's gonna sell you whatever the fuck you want. The second one, which I already mentioned, is price. A single 10 ml bottle will last you over three months and will cost you anywhere from 50 to $75, give or take, depending on who's ripping you off or who you're getting cheap shit from. The third pro will be not having to answer to anyone, go to any appointments, constantly play the blast and cruise game, etc. You are free to do as you please. All right, the cons. The biggest and worst part of going the underground route is absolutely without a doubt the quality. You can quite literally make this shit in your kitchen and I know a lot of guys that do. They buy the rolls from China, they look up a 
uh, recipe online and they bake it, add baking soda, water. I don't know the exact recipe, but you get what I'm saying. So that means you get a lot of guys that are making subpar or dirty gear and passing it off to you for an inflated price. And you have no idea what you're getting unless you get it tested. And let's be honest, no one's getting it tested. In all the years of me going on and off steroids, buying a million different brands, not one time have I sent this shit in to get it tested. You just kind of figure it out as you go. You get some good gear, you get some bad gear. Sometimes you inject olive oil. I'm sure that I've done it all. Um, but that is one huge downside, the biggest downside to going the underground route. And not to mention, most underground uh, labs are just notoriously underdosed. If you've got 250 milligrams, you're probably injecting 175 or 200. That's just how it goes. You can research the lab, but a lot of times that doesn't even matter. There are a million different labs out there that even I haven't heard of. And there's also labs out there that are just ripping off the big boys. I mean, there's a million different renditions of British Dragon. Um, so just because they have the same label doesn't mean they're real. It's not like someone's you know, regulating this. This is all legal shit. So it's not like people are out here getting sued for copyright and stuff. Um, so you can research the lab, specifically if it's online. If you're buying online, just Google that lab, hit review at the end, and if someone loves it or hates it on a forum or somewhere, they will be talking about it. The second con will be the legality and difficulty of acquiring it. This is typically the biggest hangup for most people. How do you find it? Who do you trust? And what websites aren't going to take your money and absolutely rip you off and drain your bank account, steal your wife and your kids? That's always an issue. Um, not to mention, it is technically illegal. Uh, not that too many guys get hassled for that, but it is still a factor to take in consideration. I don't think you're exactly getting raided for buying two bottles of testosterone, but it is still legal and it is something that does scare a lot of guys. And the third con is going to be the fact that you are on your own to figure it all out. You are on your own to figure out your levels, figure out your uh, estrogen, figure out your blood work, figure out all that stuff. It is on you to do that. If you are not very well versed, if you really don't know what you're doing, yes, you can Google and research and learn, but if you're at a clinic or a doctor, obviously they are doing all of that for you. Now, as I said in the beginning, I personally do my own TRT. Um, I was at a TRT clinic for roughly five years, six years, something like that. And here just recently, I decided to do it myself. It was just way too much of a hassle to go into these appointments and go and get blood work done. And I'm someone that, you know, although I don't do it a whole lot anymore, um, I do still do, you know, blast and some cycles here and there. And I figure, you know what? I know what I'm doing. I know where to get good shit. I know how to read blood work. I know what the right dosage for me is. And I don't have any issues for it. I know how much uh, AI is to take. I know all of that stuff. It's just riding a bike for me at this point. Very easy for me because I know what I'm doing. But for you guys out there, if you have the money and you're not 100% sure on what to do, you should really just go the prescription route. If you're strapped for cash, I understand that. At least do your research, figure out exactly what you need to get, figure out exactly what you need to do, get blood work. Blood work will tell you everything. Get pre-blood work, get intracycle blood work, just constantly get blood work so you can learn what these dosages and what these compounds are doing to you and how they're affecting your level. I tell guys all the time, spend the money in the beginning, get that done, figure out your dosage, and then you're good from there because you know how this stuff is going to affect you. What about you guys? How much do you pay per month? What are your thoughts? Where do you go? What kind of TRT do you take? I don't care, comment down below and let me know your thoughts. Thank you to Let's Get Checked for sponsoring this video. Very first link in the description box below. Check out Beyond Research, check out Beyond Max, anything else, I'm affiliated, Anabar, all that stuff. Hope you guys had a happy Thanksgiving and I will see you guys in the next video. I appreciate you, I love you, and I will see you at the next video. See you guys.